what's up everyone my name is Harshal Mavani and in this video we take a look at two very interesting environment variables that we may come across when coding in Java. As always we try to do this in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Now when I have a very simple program like the hello world program and I'm trying to compile it. So here's me trying to compile my very simple hello world program. I may get this error that is Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. So what exactly is happening over here? Microsoft is trying to look for the command Java C. It is trying to look for which command? The Java C command. And where exactly is it trying to look for it? This is the question. And the answer is, it is trying to look for the Java C command inside a path environment variable. So what exactly is the path word mean? The path is nothing but an environment variable. There are many, many values inside this environment variable. These values are separated by semicolons. So Microsoft will individually go into each of these values and try to search for the Java C command. If it does not find the command, we get this error that the Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command. And if it does, then very well go ahead and execute that command is what actually happens. So to give you an idea about the environment variable. Let's take a look at the environment variable. So here I have opened up my control panel and as you can see that this is the path environment variable. Now these are all the values wherein Microsoft will go and start searching for the Java C command or the Java C binary. And of course it won't find it over here. Now as you can see that these are separated by semicolons. So see Java path is one particular address where it will go to search followed by C program files 86 Leno which let's see over here is fusion engine and so on and so forth. So this is what exactly is happening when I'm trying to use the Java C command inside my CMD. So if I want to set the path, the path environment variable, I use this command which is a set path command. Let's just paste the address which is the JDK bin. I hit enter and now the path will have one more value of C program files Java JDK bin and inside the bin as we all know the bin does contain the Java C binary as you can see it's the it's the Java C binary present inside the bin so after doing that if I try compiling my program once again it works perfectly fine because Microsoft found out the Java C binary present inside the bin, which I just set using this particular command. So that's the path environment variable. Now talking about the class path environment variable. So the class path environment variable is also an address. This address should be the place where your dot class files are stored. The dot class file or the bytecode file as we've studied before. So in order to set the class path, what I do is I type my second command which is a java command java space hyphen cp space your directory as to where are the dot class files present in this case as of now the java programs folder itself has the dot class files let's take a look and there we have the dot class file over here so we did not set the class path explicitly so if we want to set it to a current directory we just put a dot so java space hyphen cp dot space your dot class file name which is main class in this case and there the program runs hello world now what if you want to run a program which is present in some other directory so let's go back one step now i'm in the d folder i'm not inside java programs like i was before i'm inside d alone okay so let's try compiling it which is already compiled so we don't have to compile it again let's try running it we'll do java space main class obviously this should fail because main class is not present could not load or find the main class now in such a case what we want to do is java space hyphen cp that is set the class path to what we'll set the class path to so we set the class path to java programs and also pass the main class as a parameter so let's do it again. It looks something like this Java space hyphen CP, which states that we are setting the class path, followed by the actual path where the class file resides. So Java programs 
backslash space main class main class suggests the name of the byte code that you actually want to execute and there hello world it works like a charm that's it for path and class path thank you